Hello. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> No, I didn't just ask my husband to stay out the door and knock, pretending like he's MTV. <laughs> that is totally not what happened. Anyway, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Faye Mac. I post videos about my life in Canada as a new immigrant, how to move to Canada, um, settlement tips, and all of that good stuff. If you like that kind of content, definitely subscribe to this channel. It's going to be fun. Today, I'm showing you what my basement apartment looks like. Okay, you guys have asked me this question. I've gotten a lot of questions about, you know, the kind of apartment I stay in, if I live in a condo, this, that, and the third. So, so now I'm going to show you what my basement apartment looks like. Before I get into it, just a quick chat, okay? I know that a lot of you guys that are watching me are, you know, subscribed from Nigeria, which is where I'm from, um, and we don't have basements in Nigeria. Maybe a few houses might have, maybe specifically, but I've never seen a basement in Nigeria. And a lot of people coming from there um, to Canada don't know what basement apartments look like. Now, I know you've heard a lot about basement apartments. You've heard that basements are dark and depressed depressing and lonely and cold <laughs> i hear you okay but that has not been my experience with basement apartments this is the second basement apartment i'm actually living in since i got to canada i've lived in regular condos or let me say apartments um back in halifax nova scotia i've lived in um a townhouse and i've lived in condos so look i've seen it all Personally, I see nothing wrong in living with a basement apartment. So I'm going to show you today what mine looks like so that it can help you make informed decisions. Some people that say basements are depressing have never lived in basements themselves. So it really depends. It depends on your taste, what you're looking for, what's on the market, the price point and all of that. Let me tell you, basements, some basements do not come cheap. Some would be the same price as a regular one bedroom apartment, but where you'd be saving is the fact that you're not going to pay for um, utilities. Some of them come all inclusive, while some of them don't. Some of them also come furnished. Now this came furnished with all utilities included in the rent. Let's just have a tour um, and yeah, I don't want to talk too much. <laughs> okay, let's get into the tour. You walk in through the door to your right. Um, you have the um, hanger just to hang jackets and things like that for guests and we also use it as well because we need the space um, I like that this area is really well lit we probably have about what 15 pot lights just in the living room area alone and I like that we can actually um, control the amount of light as well just this way so we can save energy but we can also take it up to the highest when we have to film um, YouTube videos so even for my YouTube videos I don't use any extra lighting I only just sit down and shoot because it's well lit okay so let's move over to um, the kitchen area this kitchen area um, a double sink and a nice um, faucet that comes out and has two different controls so I like that we have a nice window here um, a lot of basements don't have large windows but this one does it's a pretty good size window um came with fire fire extinguisher and all of that we just have this little sp space here that we put our food like fruits um i have my lunch right here <laughs> and then just this is just counter space and this countertop is quartz that's something i really really like i like quartz countertops and granite countertops countertops as well so yeah this is all storage over the range microwave and the cooker um obviously i bought these by myself these didn't come with a place this is my instant pot and my cereal <laughs> so yeah it has decent storage space um here we just have a cute little couch and a coffee table those two chairs um came with the place as well so i didn't have to buy those like i said the place came furnished also the um, shoe rack right there came with the place as well so it's pretty comfy i like it it's hardwood flooring um it's really really comfortable i really really like this place 
it's small but it's really cute so i fell in love with it when i first saw it and i really needed the good lighting so i went with it come on well, this way this is our working area um so this is my husband's <laughs> workstation so he actually works in the office so i get to use this space for him as my workstation um i have my work laptop in the room this is my personal laptop that i use for editing that's my mic and yeah this table is really is pretty much enough for us um right here we have a little storage um it's under the staircase that's why this is like this so it's just a storage space for random stuff okay let's go into the bathroom it's just right this way um obviously this is a one bed house so we have just one toilet stroke bathroom this is obviously the wash hand basin it has a little bit of storage down here um and then we have some storage here as well for toothbrushes um toothpaste shampoos sponges and all of that then the toilet and a little bit of storage up there as well for the towel and here's the shower and i really like that it has a pot light inside i also like the pressure of the shower head it's pretty cool yeah so that's the bathroom okay and we come over this way to the bedroom Oh, actually, before we get to the bedroom, let me just tell you what's in here. So this is the furnace room. This is where um, the furnace for the house is. So electrical stuff, um, we don't really use it as storage because there are equipment in there that basically provide heat for the house. Um, here, I think this door leads upstairs to the landlord's house. So that door is permanently locked. Okay, let's go into the bedroom. Okay welcome to the bedroom it's a pretty standard size bedroom it's not as bright because we have only one light in here um, we have one window as well which i never open <laughs> but we have that window there and the bed like i said before it came furnished so that came with the place as well um you can come on in i have just these plastic storage um, units for my girly stuff my makeup and a few other things and right over here um, we have a closet so the closet comes with a little mirror on it so I don't have to have a separate mirror or anything in case you haven't noticed this is like minimalist or minimalist um, so that's what we're trying to go for here and getting a furnished place really helped in case you haven't noticed, there's a bit of noise because we're doing laundry. It's laundry day, so we have one day of the week for laundry, and ours is Saturday. And what happens is that we share the laundry. Oh, hold on. I'll close it first so I finish speaking because it's too loud. Um, we share the laundry with the landlord, so they have their own laundry day as well. So this door is actually locked every day that's not saturday our laundry day unless i specifically request to do laundry on a different day um so yeah what happens is that i get to control the lock so on days that are not saturday this will automatically close and when i'm ready to do laundry i just need to go on my phone and open the app and it will open up and i can have access to the laundry so here we just have a washer and dryer perfect so yeah that is pretty much it um i hope you've learned a thing or two um obviously this is me bringing you into my personal space um but to be honest i just really wanted to put this out there to debunk the myth that basements are depressing and terrible they're not listen there are some that would be like that you, i feel like you kind of get what you pay for a basement like this actually is not cheap so you kind of have to run your numbers and see if it's worth it for you to get a condo apartment or just get a condo or just get a basement depending on what the prices are the prices will probably be similar for a furnished basement like this with good finishing um but when you consider the fact that all the utilities are paid for i don't pay for anything extra not even wi-fi or anything 
I only pay for parking, which is like $16 a month for me to park by the street. And that's to the city. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, please tell me what you want to see. I'm happy to do tours of different places for you. Um, more of these will be coming on on my channel. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you won't miss my videos every time I post. And I'll see you in my next one.